According to his bio, Matt is responsible for driving and optimizing BT's innovation ecosystem. I asked him how he formalizes such a potentially messy and disruptive process. Taking it simply, in every one of the lines of business of BT and in the operations, you try to drive three things, revenue generation propositions, cost reduction propositions, and customer experience enhancements. So in the innovation agenda, you can really make it purpose driven. You can take it and have it driven around a set of objectives that a senior person in the line of business can say, yes, if I have the answer to that, it helps me take risk out of my execution, it helps me garner greater market share, it helps me um, uh, achieve better margins in my business or deliver a better customer experience. But the measure is, um, how many of those actually get onto the calendar of demand from the lines of business, into the calendar of commitments from the development, and ultimately into the channel? Now the process of open innovation, of course, is far more iterative, I think, than, than perhaps traditional methods. How then do you ensure that development goals are met? Again, with that sort of messy innovation thing. Well, this is a really good question because uh, I believe it is a misconception that involving customers early um, might derail the, the development process. As a matter of fact, it adds purpose to it. We had a transport uh, company in looking at this and they, they were having trouble with the copper cables along their uh, rail tracks being stolen. This technology could have taken years to articulate through the machine, but with this customer input, we were able to commercialize it. It's now of interest to transport and logistics companies the world over. And so that type of engaging your customer early and often helps you actually become much more agile, especially given my earlier comment about having a platform with reusable capabilities. It enables you to build more tailored products that are uh, focused at a specific vertical, but yet get the economies of scale to run on your network and IT systems so the unit costs come out. And it's, it's emerging as a, as a very powerful business model. Open innovation, bringing in um, products and services from the world over, blending them together with the best of the men and women inside of our organization putting them together with our customers so that they can uh, vote with their wallet and say that looks good. What then for you in, in this, this, this process of transformation, what have been your, I suppose, uh, key challenges and then the key moments for you where you knew you were going in the right direction? <laughs> key challenges are principally around hearts and minds, is, 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 is helping people understand what does this mean to me? Um, when, you, when you have uh, a large organization, you use the word incumbent uh, in, in, in uh, historical terms, the transformation of the business, ultimately you need your people to come along with that. People make things work, right? For more fantastic interviews directly related to your business, be sure to explore Meet the Boss TV.